where spells of darkness have been cast that you will wander about until you are wasted. This morning, there shall be a different. Can I hear someone shout, let there be light three times. Every chain of problem you have been in, when God saw problem in Genesis, God did not complain. God did not explain. The only thing God did was God brought solution. This shall be weak of solution to the problems in your foundation. In the name of Jesus, right? They shall be light in your foundation. They shall be light in your marriage. They shall be light in your business. They shall be light in your life. Somebody shout, let there be light. Lift your hands and bless the name of the Lord. I have some prayers. I wanted us to pray, but we pray the prayer tomorrow morning and Wednesday. Okay? We are going to drop this prayer on the on the platform. So you go to the platform, start praying them this night. We are going to pray this prayer throughout the month of August. Praise God. A Abraham was so frustrated and couldn't know the reason of his frustration. Everything about him was right. Everything about his wife was right. But nothing was working. Are we here? And one night, in one month, he had a dream. He saw God. He had an encounter. You will have an encounter that will make a difference in your life. God separated him from the foundational troubles. And God moved him to where God has destined for him. This season shall mark the beginning of separation. Every altar in your foundation, you do not know its mission, receive an anointed or supernatural separation. I separate you from those altars. I separate you from those powers. I separate you from those man powers. In the name of Jesus. Got up and they moved out. They moved out. You'll be spiritually separated. If it is possible, you'll be physically separated. You will not pay the price of what you did not buy. Whoever has created that problem shall be in your problem. Somebody shout again. Let that be light in my foundation. Let that be light in my habitation. Let that be light in my assignment. Let every trouble of my destiny bear their troubles. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please, put your hands together for Jesus if you want. You may be sitting. Let me see how quickly we can go, but I've promised you um, quite a number of a few partners are so concerned about my traveling rate. And they've been talking. I know some of you are not talking, but you are complaining in your mind. Praise God. And I've spoken to myself. If you cannot hear somebody else, one time you will hear yourself. So, by the grace of God, I, I make this pledge. I will be in this altar throughout this month. Throughout the month of August. You understand what I mean? You understand what I mean? The month is ending today. Today is 31st, in case you don't know. <laughs> Praise God. So throughout the month of August, I will be in this altar. I'll be here tomorrow. I'll be here on Wednesday. I'll be here all through. Praise God. All right, so uh, I just want to show you the mysteries of light. The mysteries of light. Now, the mysteries of light begins with the relevance of light. Every solution has their own concept and their definition. Now, the Bible says, in the beginning, God created heaven and the earth. Genesis chapter 1 verse 1. 
That's the end of it. God created heaven and the earth. Close verse 1. How and where and what he created from was not disclosed. So if you want to know the origin of the heavens and the origin of the earth, you need to know God. Praise God. Now, the relevant and need of the earth was determined by God, executed by God, and consummated by God. There was need for heaven, and there was need for earth. Only he knows why, how, and means. But the truth is that he thought about it, he executed it, and then he saw it happen. You will not die with your dreams. I didn't hear you, man. Now verse 2 says, And the earth was without form. I've been telling you what this means. The, the word without form means it has no order. It was disorder. There was no formation. Everything was upside down. And void. The word void means it has no value. Nothing about it. Nothing you can take out of it. And the earth. He didn't talk about heaven. And the earth. He would have said, and the heaven and the earth were without form and void. But nothing can be without form and void where God is present. So what happened to the earth? The truth is that God created it without introducing and putting it in the hand of a caretaker. Are we here? If God has created man at that beginning, the earth will not have been void. Are we here? So you were the only missing ingredient in the work of God. Are we here? And that was why God introduced man into creation. So that there can be orderliness and there can be value. What God has been looking about is value and orderliness. Every enemy of your values, enemy of orderliness, in your life and your family, they shall come to nothing this morning. And the Bible says, the next thing that surprised me, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. Darkness is a word used to describe a personality. Yes. Are we here? Darkness. Have you not been hearing powers of darkness? Are you here? That darkness was the power behind the voidness and the formless of the earth. And look at there. And darkness was upon the face of the deep. And what the Bible disclosed next was that, and the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. Okay, so there was presence, but there was no action. Are we here? There was presence. So there was existence, but there was no content. I wouldn't know how it happened and how long, but I also knew that Lucifer has a lot of names and one of the names I discovered last night was darkness. His name was darkness. When God cast him down in anger, he came to destroy God's work on the earth. Sometimes when we cast away a demon from somebody, it will begin to look for where to enter. So when he was cast down, he moved to the earth to devour God's value. And God said, okay. Okay. Now I know the problem. Every hidden problem to your us and thou, they shall be exposed this morning. Do I have somebody here? You better sit tight. It's going to be short, but you're going to get something strong. Darkness was exposed and his mission was terminated. When an enemy's mission is exposed, their mandate will be terminated. Can I say something to someone here? Whether they be called friends 
or parents or relation whosoever is behind your house and down no matter how long they are hidden with their strategy they shall be exposed to death their mission shall be terminated one expected that God will go into some adventure and then make some noise Verse 3 says, everybody read with me. And God said, do you see command here? Let's take it like people that are very intelligent. Want to go. And God said, let there be light. Come on. God talk with purpose. God talk with expectation. When you see column there, that is break in the sentence to show you the, 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 it's a pause to expect a result. The Bible says, God said, let there be light. Why? What is the purpose? What is the reason? To handle darkness. And darkness was on top of the surface of the deep. And God felt there's an aspect of me that can handle this. There's no problem that comes your way that there's nothing in you that can handle that problem. If truly you are a child of God. Because the Bible said to them that receive him, he gave them power to become like him. I said, and let there be light. Call on. That's a long time of expectation. Go post and waited. Today, as you pray, may you have the faith that your prayer have been answered. Amen. Are we here? And day was light. And day was light. When there was light, what happened to darkness? And God saw the light that it was good. And God divided the light from darkness. Have we here? He couldn't destroy the darkness. But he introduced light. He separated them. The darkness is a spirit. God cannot destroy the spirit. There is a time he has appointed for the spirit. So those who are that are praying, die, 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 die. You can't kill spirits. You only have the spirit by the spirit. Come on, are we here? And I want to say to you today. That God is introducing supernatural separation by the emergence of life. Every time that is troubling your foundation, troubling your generation, troubling your family. Can I say something to somebody? Let there be light. 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 I'll be showing you on Wednesday what happened when light came. Oh, are we here? So we can live here as quickly as we can now. Now, over a period of time, we also saw that the covenant generation of God derailed. And darkness came back. Are we here? Through some strange enemies. Pharaoh, Syria, quite a number of things. And placed them in bondage. And they became a slave. So people that God had redeemed them from. Are we here? And God began to think of sending a savior. Somebody say savior. Alright? And they began to introduce the character of the savior. Alright? So Isaiah chapter 60 is not just like Genesis chapter 1. Isaiah chapter 60 is a prophecy that begins to introduce the coming of light. Come on, are we here? And when you understand the arrival and the emergence of this light, you will be able to understand who you are. Because the problem is discovering who you are. We have been, been giving so much preeminence and so much dominion to the devil. But the truth is that we are agents of light. Are we here? We are the extensions of light. Today, you are light will shine on. Are we here? This week, people will see you. They say, ah, I thought to travel. You've been there. The 
are not noticing you because your light was not shining. When your light will shine, you will receive attention. Chapter 60 of Isaiah. Can we go there? Arise. Take care of all the punctuation. If you want to enjoy your Bible and get meaning for your Bible, when you are reading it, take care of the punctuation marks. Are we here? Now look at the stream. Look at the word there. And this is how to read it. If I say arise, act on the word. Arise. Some of you are not smart enough. Sit down. You do it again. It's a command. Are we here? Whatever could make you sit down. When you see somebody who just sit like this. For a while. What you are going to see is. They will be thinking. I saw one footballer yesterday in um, Baka. He's a new player. He scored two goals. And every time he scored a goal, he would do like this. <laughs> so I noticed him. When he scored the first goal, he did like this. And people will come and hug him. He scored the second one, he did like this. You know what my spirit told me? This man sleep thinking how he will score a goal. Are we here? Every time you sit there, you are thinking. It's not a sin to think. You think because you are human. But when you start thinking and keep thinking and doing nothing, you become poor. And if you become poor for too long, you become a witch. You know, when you have too many poor, poor people around you, and you are the only one making it, they will envy you. And when they start envying you, the problem is that they will start bewitching you. Okay, everything you do, they won't like it. They start hating you. Alright? So, don't choose that line. That line, you have spent enough time thinking on profitable acts and things. It is time to rise. Come on, are we here? So many of you will be rising this week. Oh my God. You know, when you are God rise, your glory will arise. Somebody, now let's read the word. Arise. Oh, you are getting it now. Oh, come on, somebody, you are getting there. Arise. Have you ever seen somebody sitting down and running? The thing says, on your mass, say it, go. Okay? So that is what that's, that, that's what you begin with. Somebody shout, arise. Shine. Shine. Don't like someone that is shining now. Yeah. Like someone that is shining. You know, shine comes with such an inner confidence. You, you burst into this unusual confidence. The type that David had that intimidated Goliath. When your enemies saw you suddenly stop mourning, get into the bathroom, bath, brought out your best clothes. Come on and put it on and bring your best shoe and put it on. And they have been seeing you on rack, thinking like somebody that has been wasted and killed. Will the enemy not get worried? Listen, this month of August, dress like somebody who just arrived. Come out here. It's a month where you will shine your shine. Every enemy against your shine, they shall go down for you. Come on, tell your neighbor, it is your time to shine. Arise. Shine. This thing I'm wearing now, you can't see me from a distance without saying who is coming. But if you start just putting on any how, I was asking one of my sons this morning, where did you come to? <laughs> Today is Sunday. He said, Daddy, I know. I said, what happened to you? All right? The way you dress will determine how you will be addressed. <laughs> Attention comes by your packaging. If no one cares to package you, package yourself. <laughs> no man they shine for darkness, oh. It is only when light comes, man, they shine. I will see some of you, even myself, will ask you where you they go. You say, ah, now God, I can't see. God get eye, 
gate, he gets everything. As you just appear, and your heart appear, and you just they look like this, God will come. Say, what do you do? What do you want? Oh my God. Come on, are we here? So, it's not just a sentence. It's an instruction. Arise. Get up. Get up. Shine. Package yourself. Present yourself. In such a manner that you will be acceptable. When your phone is old, package it. Are we here? Your shoe don't they get mouth. Take it to cobbler. I will repackage it. You don't need to get a new one. Let it look new. Come on, are we here? I was asking my wife, are you going to Asaba with this phone? Let's package it. Let's package it. Praise God. The, the essence of packaging is newness. Are we here? Even when you don't get money inside your pocket. How many of you have seen the church new letter headed paper? You have not seen it. You need to see it. In fact, I need to write businessmen a letter today. Just to show you how you can package yourself. Go and print new letter day paper. Send your proposal. Che they saw it, I think. He said, I, I go do this one. Make I take and they write my customer. I have a new complimentary card. Come to my office. I will help you print it. Are we here? You get, it is shine like this. When I gave it to one Catholic priest in the plane, he said, ah, this is a big card. And he merely look at the content. He said, oh, you're going to where I'm going? I said, yes. But incidentally, I won't be there. I have to come back. I have an, an important service on Sunday. He said, oh, I'll miss you. Catholic priest, they, they can be very proud. Praise God. Upgrade yourself. You are not inferior. Package your hair. Package your shoe. God says, shine. Come on, somebody. I announce to you, shine. Get us Isaiah chapter 6, verse 1 back. I think we we'll stop there. We're going to stay on that scripture this month, this new month. Are we here? Until we'll exhaust what it is. Where are they? Arise, shine. Are we here? You see that semicolon. So it's like a sentence. That's why I dwell there. Shine. Shine has a lot of things. Shine. Tell us your content. Tell us who you are. Tell us what you can do. Walk around. Show that you are the owner of this house. Show that you live in this street. Let people that have not noticed you notice that you are present there. Come on, are we here? Where you walk. If you have the privilege, reset your table. Rearrange it. Let everything look new. They are still the same thing. But rearrange it to a new position. Come on, are we here? We are our God. No, our God. You may even be looking like our God. Praise God. Arise and shine in your house. Change your bed location. Are we here? Turn the bed upside down. Are we here? Sleep on the other side. You have not slept for a long time. If the phone they swallow you when you go inside, believe God prayer point. Make it a prayer point. God changing my phone. How <laughs> here? Listen, reset your parlor. Shine. When somebody say, ah, you don't when the chair don't tear, 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 you're gonna make you vex. Are we here? New things will make you happy. Just go back and repackage it. It doesn't cost you much. Caution or someone here. Are we here? The, the repackage it. Cause newness everywhere. If you have possibility, call Emmanuel, paint the house, paint only the parlor, leave the room. Nobody enter room. Somebody shout. I like my parlor. My wife will come and say, Come inside. I say, I'm okay here. Are we here? So, new thing this week. Are we here? You don't have more to buy new thing. Make the old one new. All right. You have some clothes. Everybody know you with that clothes. Dry clean it. You don't wash them enough. Dry clean. I know it costs you 500. Start them. Put them on. Everything will look new. Because your change is coming. In the name of Jesus.
Jesus. Somebody say, I will arise and shine. I say, shout. Why? God not they stay for Dorte. Something is coming. For thy is the kingdom. Power and glory. Kingdom talks about domain. Power talks about influence. Glory talks about value. And they said, put it there. For, for the light, for thy light is come. This light is talking about Jesus. It's talking about your redeemer. It's talking about your savior. It's talking about your helper. Are we here? When you arise and shine and package, your right helpers will come. Because from a distance, they will know that you are the one they have been sent to. In the month of August, I'm praying for eight helpers. They shall be connected to your trading. They shall be connected to your life. They shall be connected to your family. Your eight helper shall locate you. The number of God is eight. Eight is a number of perfection. It's a number of a new beginning. It's a new chapter. So I see eight helpers locating your house, locating your name, locating your family, locating your business. Your helpers are coming. Your helpers are coming. They're coming from the south. They're coming from the west. They're coming from the air. They're coming from every corner. Come on, somebody shout. My helpers are coming. I wish we have more time. But we can close now. And the glory, when your helper come, your values will be revealed. When they talk about glory, it's not only talking about the presence. It's talking about supernatural values. The number of value you are carrying, but you don't know. And you can never know until your redeemer comes. But this moon, your redeemer is visiting you. Amen. And your redeemer can be the one that God has entered into. I said, go for Eda Gabi. Go for Maria Woni. Go for Brother Gabriel. Are we here? Go for my people in Dominion Gate. Go meet them at Odua Dev. Go and meet Tony. Go and meet Shady at Alaba. Go and meet our people in Aspanda. Listen to me. As far as the earth remains, I said to you, at this moment today, and all God begins tomorrow, the glory of your ability shall be revealed in the name of Jesus. To be sure that it's your redeemer that is coming as your life. And the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. And the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. The value that darkness has should change. The lordship of Jesus is restoring. So it's going to be your mode of restoration of values. Restoration of identity. Restoration of power. Restoration of influence. I say to someone here, it's not a time to die. It's a time to rise. It's a time to shine. It's a time to take your place. It's a time to take your position. Every darkness and death around you and your foundation Isaiah 9 verse 2. I close with that scripture. Isaiah 9 verse 2. Look at that scripture and see what it says. The people that walk it in darkness have seen a great light. And everybody that have never seen you where you are located, they will see you this week. Where you are walking, they will see you this week. You'll be walking unnoticed. You will walk noticed. You'll be going up and down 
will see it. They will see you this morning. They will see your heart. They will see your life. They will see your value. They will see your name. In the name of Jesus. So you are migrating from light now to great light. Someone say great light. That is taking you to Holy Ghost. Are we here? They that dwell in the land of the shadow of death. Upon them have the light shine. Every conclusion of death, poverty and evil on your life and your family. I command, let there be light. Every dimension of your opportunity, I say, let there be light. Every connection to them by God for your life, I say, let there be light. In your business world, I say, let there be light. Let there be light. Let up the lie. Let up the lie. Let up the lie. Let up the lie. So much shout. Let up the lie. I wish I can continue. Lift your hands to heavens. If you can walk with this, it's enough. Everyone that is in trouble, shadow of death. Fear, terror, depth, confusion. I see light upon your life. I see solution upon your life. I see solution upon your business. Every time that have been taken over against the will of God, it shall be recovered. This week, three things will happen to you. Jesus shall appear in your midnight hours. You will have an encounter. It shall be an encounter of light. This week, where the enemy is holding you and appear to be raining against you, there shall be great light. It's not the time to die. It's not a time to park to the village. It's a time to manifest. There shall be great light. And there was light. Every problem you've carried on your ears in January. This shall be your week of solution. You will expound. On every side. You will have values. On every side. In the name of Jesus. Lift your hands up and bless the name of the Lord. Onye kanga sino iria. Onye. Onye. Onye kanga sino iria. She came up. He went Now listen. We have a good news for you. The good news is this. Since December, the church leadership agreed that it's time to change our big generator. Our Thanksgiving for last year was tied to it. Praise God. Was what? It was done. And then, I've not said anything now. We have options. Let us buy Tokumbo. Based on our strength. When the cost of looking for Tokumbo, we discover that if we can have that money to buy Tokumbo, we should be able to go ahead and buy a brand new generator. God had gave us favor. He shined his light upon us and upon our thought. And graciously, last week, in uh, interaction with all the leadership of the church and the pastorate, we all agreed. And by the grace of God, we have back there by the church a brand new CCKBA generator.
That is what can happen when your light shines. It's not possible to buy it at this season. Praise God. But God have to go before us, give us faith and grace and connected us to opportunity. Our friend that heard about it felt that it was just a, a kind of um, a gift by the price that we had it. We won't tell you the price. But we need, praise God. Now, when we bought the generator, we wanted to build um, an external tank. And I was there when they were working it. Where's the engineer, Abraham? <laughs> I was there when they were working it. Please sit down. I just want to share this story with you. So I looked at it. And uh, I asked the man, what are you doing? He said, he caught this hole. And I said, what are you doing? I said, he's bleeding it. He said, to bleed this new generator. When you start tampering with the injector, it will have a problem immediately. So, I called Abraham. We went inside the office. I called the owners that sold it. I said, come and help us fix the standard tank. He said, why do you need a standard tank? That the generator has an internal tank. And I asked the engineer and the engineer Abraham and all of them. <laughs> the faith and fear of Abraham was, where would the church have money to put diesel? So we asked them, how much diesel do we need? And they said, it's 350 diesel, that is the size of the tank. 350 liters. And that means that when you put 350 liters of diesel in it, in the internal tank, you don't need the external tank. Praise God. I, I, and that's why we didn't use it today. I said, them, shut it down. We're going to look for money and fill the tank. God that gave us the generator, we give us the money for the diesel. We will only use it on Sundays. So what we did is to service all the AC. They are all ready to work now. They have service all the AC. They are all good to go. But they, they, we have to power it and call the man that wired here to share the load. We noticed that one of the load is in the center. This, this, the center load is even above the capacity of the center. So they need to come back and share the load so that they will split it out. Now, to get 350 liters of this, we need 280,000. Are we here? It's not going to be for one Sunday. It's going to carry us for about a month. Praise God. We're going to carry us for about a month because I think we use about 50 liters. Okay, in a month. So, how many 50 liters are in, are in um, 350? Seven. Okay, so that is fine. We'll be able to work on it. So, we now said, okay, if we have 20 something people that can give us 10,000 10, to first of all put the diesel, we will go far. Is that okay? So, we've worked the mathematics yesterday. So, now, let us put this on to power the light that God has given to us. And we need, if you don't have money and the convention committee has given you a letter, deduct the 10,000 from your letter. Yes, that's the way it is in my heart. Praise God. So if you are paying the 10,000, we are taking it out of your convention fee. Is that okay? But we need it now so that we can use it next Sunday. So you get up now. Come and give us your hand. If you want to give us more than that, fine. Come now, come up. I'm seeing your heart already. You know, one family gave us 1.2 to buy that diesel, to buy that generator. So when we're saying this, we have to be very fast. Can we do this fast? We're spending much time. Please come. We need about 20 something of us or 30 of us to just do this quickly. Please, we need this money immediately. We need this money immediately. And I'm personally going to draw this money from you. Put the account number of the church on the screen. You can be transferring as you are standing. Praise God. You can be transferring as you are standing. This is very urgent. Remember we have said, whatever you pay, we take it from your convention fee. Praise God. And you have to pay your convention fee. We are waiting. If you don't have any letter for convention, and this is your first time of being in church. Please come. Just take advantage of it. We need 20 something of you. 
We are waiting. I'm not going to sit down. On the account. Okay. Some of us are asking for the account. Where's Shedrach? Can you please put the account number? Are you doing, doing that? Yeah. Put access or put, um, or put Stambik. Any one you have. I think Stambik is for the uh, generator. Who's Stambik? All right. Get on your feet. Come to the altar. We can exempt those of you who just played for television. We have to get the money today. 10K minimum. Where is the account now? Give them a standby. Don't give them access. Give them standing. Go get it and give them. Go to my office to get it and give them. It's the standing that we use for the for the for the for the generator. So let everything go there. If you have your physical cash, give us. How many do we have now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. How many remaining? Thirteen, fourteen, and I got you sitting. Fourteen. So we're waiting. Why not go up ahead? Okay. Sam, you are here for the deal? Okay. 15. How many of you are ready for the convention? Okay. I wonder how, why it's taking you that long. Okay. Let us pray. You know, you know, sometimes God, God has a way of doing his own things. God has a way of doing his own thing. That's the account there. As son said, he's going to give us 100,000. I am noticing, I'm noticing something that God wants to do. And he said, let someone else balance the 30K. Let someone else balance the 30K. From what we've calculated here, he will give us the 100K. From what we have here, we have about um, we have about so let someone else balance the 30K. That's what he told me. Praise God. Do we have someone that wants to do that? Okay. It will happen before we are done. Because um, I know we are in a season of miracles. So start making your transfer now. We, we, we are building a cage. We are building a cage. The cage will be delivered by Wednesday. We are also going to build a canopy on that particular thing. So the church is doing a lot of things on that gen. Because of where it is, we have to secure it. 
the cage is uh, we have just commissioned it last week all right let us pray it's good to see you with your phones getting busy for the lord this your phone will never lack a lot just balance what is left share it among yourself and tell me what you've done praise god shall we pray whatever is left there should be balanced we will have to we, we I, I i i believed god we have to put we have to have a full tank of that generator before we power it praise god i will not hear that this will cut there and it has a gauge when you are using it will be showing you the level so you will know when to top it it's always good to have a new thing hallelujah it shows the weight this side is okay this side is okay this one have to be adjusted i want to thank our elder the guy behind the one that one he um and they can chili who's who uh spared their time engineer felix also was part of the team working with pastor abraham at the end of the day we we're able to have that good choice we almost duped because somebody was uh, an agent and it was almost going to dupe us with about a million but god helped us praise god he had been silent since that time and since he know that church that he wants to come and do that kind of business i don't see him do business again for a while until we release him i will release him by the middle of next month yes because we no, we can lock people so that he can learn lesson i was even asking him he was arguing are you the owner? Say, I'm the owner. He gave us a different letterhead. A different name. And somebody shop that you know your own. Hallelujah. Lift up your hands. Can you need them? You are the first set of people who are making commitment to power the new generator sent to us by God. Every other one from the last year Thanksgiving whose money is in that generator will bring their destiny before this altar. Those of you also who paid your first fruit this year, which will transfer to that account, will bring your destiny to this particular seed of light. I declare there shall be supernatural light in the foundation of your assignment your yeah, amen is not sounding out every hidden ability in you the light of god shall reveal them as this this will power that generator god shall power your life power your ability power your capacity Power your marriage in the name of Jesus. And this generator generates light. You are your skill, your gift, your business shall generate values. As you have done it when it's not convenient, every impossibility in your life shall become a testimony. In the name of Jesus. And I ask that the hand of God shall be mighty upon your life. The grace of God shall be mighty upon your life. As God gave about this brand new generator, which is the first time you are giving to us in the history of this cathedral, God will give you a brand new treasure. Something you will talk about generationally. You will never walk in the dark. You will walk in the light. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. And for you to be, I said to you today, the height that no one has ever gotten to in your family, the Lord will take you there. Because you did not consider that you are a child. You are looking objectively on God. God shall position you and grant you opportunity 
in this your business that he had never given to anyone in your ear. In the name of Jesus, favor will answer to you. May shall identify you. And you will move from opportunity to opportunities. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Now, if no one is balancing that 30K, those of you that are not here and you want to give us 5,000, can you please come? We need about how many of you to give us that? We need about the 30,000, 5,000 5, is um, 36 of you. Six people to give us 5,000. 5, you give, bring 10. Okay. So remaining about. Um, you want to give us 5,000? Please come. You know, always move yourself if no one moves you. Who? Oh. Wait, let him come down. There's nothing you are doing. Are you carrying baby there? Come and appear before the altar. You see, you are, you are, you are our children. Okay. See the account number. Just make sure that your money is in this generator. That's so, so many things to do. Okay. Let us pray. As you sow into this powerhouse, the Lord will make you a powerhouse. You come out at the level of your grace. God will take you to the next level of values. You will shine in your generation as a light. And that which the Lord has appointed for you, no one else will take your place. You are soon when it's not convenient. But God will bring you a harvest that will amaze you and amaze your family. Go and shine as a light. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Okay, so you are going to see a prayer line on our, um, on, um, on our platform. Just copy it to your phone. And stay on that prayer every night. Praise God. We we'll try to do that prayer today. Those of you going to the house centers, pray the prayers there. In addition to all we have done today. And just keep to your time. When they give you 10 minutes, keep to 10 minutes. They give you 30 minutes. Don't say, I am late. Just manage your time. And that's going to help us. God bless you. Are you blessed today? Can I hear you shout out?